going back all the way to 1296, the reign of Edward I of England. There had been a succession crisis in Scotland. Edward, seen at the time as a friend to Scotland, a friendly neighbour, was asked to oversee the selection for the next King of Scotland. This played right into Edward's hands. He had already become overlord of the Welsh and he wanted to do the same with the Scottish. So it was in his interest to make the succession crisis last for as long as possible under the guise of being really thorough in deciding who should have such a, uh, in the, well, the most important role in Scotland. His choice had been a man called John Balliol. Not long after Balliol was crowned King of Scotland, he made his way to Newcastle, to the Christmas court of Edward I. Uh, Newcastle is in the north of England. He travelled there to pay homage to Edward I as his overlord. However, Balliol didn't turn out to be quite as malleable as Edward had hoped, and the subsequent unrest led to Balliol being arrested and incarcerated in the Tower of London. While Balliol was incarcerated, Edward confiscated the Stone of Scone. Now, the Stone of Scone had been held at Scone Abbey in Scotland and had been traditionally where every King of Scotland had been crowned. This was an, a significant move by Edward. He had taken the sacred Stone of, of Scone, also known as the Stone of Destiny, where Kings of Scotland had been crowned for centuries and had taken it to Westminster. This was a physical movement of the kings of Scotland being underneath the power of the kings of England. Edward had a coronation chair created with uh, a space underneath it for the Stone of Scone and that stayed in Westminster until 1996 when it was returned to Scotland by our current Queen and our Parliament. The stone is held in Edinburgh and will return to Westminster for subsequent coronations. When I was researching this story, I found a little account that uh, cast doubt as to whether Edward had actually uh, stolen the correct stone, which asserted that perhaps the monks of Scone had substituted the real stone for a fake and therefore it wasn't the sacred uh, stone of scone which had come to Westminster and whereby every mon English and subsequently British monarch had been uh, crowned on top of um, and that perhaps the monks had either buried it or cast it into a river. Um, now although there's uh, maybe perhaps no evidence that that happened, um, that I, I quite like that, uh, that idea. <laughs> 